Good morning everyone. Um, feeling a bit sore from yesterday's go-kart and in fact I think every single rib on my body feels like it's broken. And I'm here get waiting for MOT time. I'm just gonna get Gina's car MOT for the third time. It is absolutely freezing out here at the moment. It's just been snowing all night in Warrington, but still about minus three I think. Um, yeah, so let's see how the car goes and I'll catch you in a bit. See you soon. Um, I forgot to mention last night that um, my keyboard broke on my computer, which made it kind of difficult to edit. You don't realise how much you're actually using the keyboard when you're editing. Um, so today I'm going to have to source myself a new keyboard. But that all being said, I um, I did mean to put some like weights and measurements and stuff like that on the screen. However, the keyboard literally died two thirds of the way through editing, and I couldn't actually type all that stuff on the screen. So obviously, as we know, it was 4.4 kilos of weight that I managed to lose, and today. Today, it, well, not today. Why am I saying that? So the 4.4 kilos is about nine pounds 11 ounces, somewhere around there. So it's not quite a stone yet, but I'm still impressed that within three weeks I've lost over nine, well over nine pounds, well nine and a half pounds I've lost anyway. So anyway, let's get this MOT done. So I've just come into Curry's PC World, and the best way I've found for keeping salesmen away from you is to do vlogging because there is literally nobody near me at the moment. So I don't think they like being on camera. There you go, top tip for you today. But anyway, yes, yeah, so I'm looking at keyboards at the moment. Because mine died last night, which was really useful. Mm. Hence, that's why the vlog was a bit random. So I ended up not putting the text on the screen that I wanted to put on because my keyboard died. It started typing random letters that I wasn't pressing and then it ended up starting turning the computer on and off. Um, because the keyboard I've got has got a sleep button on it and it seemed like it was um, spamming itself and breaking the computer. So yeah, problems. Anyway, I'm gonna look for a new one. Like you lot, you do know back in Malaysia, you lot are a delicacy and you're getting up to like a decent size now. I've got a frying pan that's just the other side of this tank. Stop eating me plants. Don't think I won't. Yeah, we've had these for years. Gina got them originally. Oh, Gina wants them originally. They were dead small and they used to kiss and everything else. And yeah, I was trying to get Gina into like, you know, the hobby. And um, yeah, they seem to become a long-term resident that I wasn't planning on being this long, to be fair. We got them in 2000 and... I think it was 2006, the end of 2006, I think it was when we first got them. So they are 12 years old this year. In fact, no, they're probably a bit older than 12 years old, but yeah, they're about 12 years old anyway. So, okay, I've just come back home. Um, I was gonna buy myself a new keyboard. Then I realized that all these LED keyboards, because I've got an LED one upstairs, and I think I paid about 20 or 30 pounds for it when I got it, and that was four or five years ago. Things should be getting cheaper? No. So this LED keyboards I was looking at today were all 80 to 100 pounds each, and I'm like, I'm not spending that much on a keyboard. So I've just ordered one on Amazon, I've got to wait for it to come, but that's not gonna be till tomorrow. Um, so I've got to edit everything using the mouse, and whoever, if anyone uses, and if anyone uses Premiere, they'll know that trying to edit with just the mouse is virtually impossible. You, know, you need all your keystrokes for it. Anyway, so today I am planning on getting this fish tank done. So I'm going to make a crack with that now. Um, I'm going to try and weigh some of these plants down because a lot of them have been uprooted by these damn fish. Yeah, so I've got a lot of plants that are all stuck up there at the moment. Made a discus like it, they're all hiding and just nibbling on it all and everything else, so they, they all seem quite content with it. Um, but I don't like this disorganised mess that's in there at the moment, so... And also I'm going to build the cocoon for the top of this wood so I can re-glue that, because there is literally nothing left of it. If you saw that vlog the other day when I actually redid the top of the tank, I'll, um, I'll quickly put a clip of it now on the screen. As you can see, there was lots of moss on it, and now, look back now, nothing. It looks like a stick. So yeah, I'm not happy with that at the moment. Cheers, fish. Um, these are the culprits. These giant things. So that's it. So let's get this. Um, let's get this fish tank started. I'm gonna. I've just put the kettle on for a brew, and I'm gonna have that. So see you in a minute. So okay, I am just going through sorting out my plants. So what I've done is I showed you the other day that I've made these pots. Just put some holes in them, um, and then I'm using a short length of elastic. Basically, what I'm doing is I'm tying the elastic round through two holes. Um, and then basically I'm just shoving through the bottom of the plant. So what I've tried to do is just try to separate these ones so the more of the roots are at the bottom. Um, but the piece of elastic is through there. And all I take then is this root tab. So that's a root tab in case you've not seen one before. And that 
Because he just had a dumb with one hand. So then the root tab just goes in there. And when I drop this whole thing now into the tank, um, I can fill this tray up with gravel. The plants will sit up onto the top of the gravel, but it means then the roots and the root tab are all staying together inside this tray. So then, and even then, if the big fish try to knock it around, the gravel will keep itself put and the root tab won't disappear from the plants. Hopefully that'll work. See what it does. I said you can't really tell that there's anything actually anchoring them down. But then when a big fish, like a giant catfish comes along, it's um, not gonna bother it. Excuse the mess, it's because um, I'm disturbing all the substrate. New backdrop. Mm. It's one of the proper 3D jobbies. Just looks a bit better with the plants now. Supposed to have just a glass side. The only thing that was a bit of a pain was trying to cut the um, the output nozzles into it, but they look alright. So okay, I've um, I've tried to salvage whatever bits of moss I've got left. It looks a bit shabby at the moment, but I've just tried to do the the best I can with what's left. Um, I planted some bits and pieces around the bottom as well now, just to try and make it look a bit better. I'm going to wait for this to fill out a bit more. Um, there's those plants that I planted into the into them caps before. Same with those at the back there as well. And um, this is now the divide that's stopping these from getting through to that. Yeah, you lot, good luck. Now, it's not a perfect fit down the side, there is actually a slight gap. Um, and also if you look inside the mesh as well, there is actually um, various holes that have been cut into it. It's just to allow the discus, which are now hiding over this side, um, they can get passage. So the discus can get passage backwards and forwards between this screen, um, but it just keeps the bigger fish back on the other side. I mean, there is a couple of discus on the other side. They don't seem that bothered, um, but yeah, so. So anyway, so we got Gina's car back from the MOT today and it's passed. Thankfully, um, no advisories, no nothing on it. So that's even better. The um, what else can I say? Like I said, I didn't get myself the keyboard. That's getting delivered tomorrow. So as soon as that comes, at least I can get some normal editing done. At this moment in time, I'm um, editing it on my mobile phone, so it's going to be a bit ropey uh, to say the least. I'm um, I've only got a little bit of intro and outro footage that I can use that I've already pre-recorded on the computer, but as for any main editing, I'll have to wait till I've got my new keyboard. Anything else I can add? Well, what I've done today is I purposely only had two, two Huels. Um, that was the reason for that. Whilst I've been having these three Huels, I've noticed I've been staying awake later and later every night, and I think that might be because I've got excess energy, which sounds strange, but it's a theory that I'm trying out. So what I'm doing tonight is I've literally had my two heels and I had my second heel which was about 4 o'clock. We're currently 10 o'clock and I'm actually feeling tired which is good. So I'm going to edit this one now on my phone and get it out ready for tomorrow morning. Like I said it's not going to be as refined as it normally is even though it's not actually that refined. Um, I'm just a bit gutted obviously my keyboard decided to play on. Anything else that I can add? Not really no. But yeah so we'll have to, um, we'll have to resume this all tomorrow a bit better. My um, my ribs are still hurting from go-karting. I said it's 10 o'clock at night now, and when I started this vlog, um, the footage at the beginning was actually 7 o'clock in the morning. So, um, yeah, it's, it's still not recovered massively. It's um, it's just one of them. Mm. Yeah. So I'm not really with it, I'm just feeling a little bit tired. Right, so anyway, um, oh, my cereal didn't turn up today. Um... I was actually in the house when the delivery came because I got a message about 10 minutes after they tried to come. However, the um, doorbell wasn't plugged in. Isaac loves unplugging it or half leaving it out of the wall. So the doorbell wasn't plugged in. I was actually in the conservatory slash shed at the time. Sorry, conservatory slash garage at the time. Um, and so when he came, he must have tried pressing the doorbell and didn't hear it. So I've not got any of my Huel cereal still, which would have been probably my third meal today. But... I'm on just two shakers. Anyway, so that's it. I shall catch you all tomorrow. I'm going to see if this um, screen or divide or whatever you want to call it is still in place for tomorrow because it is only wedged in. Hopefully it still is and the fish haven't managed to get through in the middle of the night and start eating everything else. So we'll find out. Anyway, take care and I'll see you tomorrow. Take care.